So here we need to find the value of 1 by cosecant theta minus cot theta minus 1 by sin theta. And we have got answer options as cot theta, cosecant theta, tan theta and 1. So simple question based on trigonometric identities. Now we need to use a different formula that we know and simplify this to get the required answer. So the given expression here is 1 by cosecant theta minus cot theta minus 1 by sin theta. Now we know a trigonometric identity that is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1. Yes or no? We know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1. What we have in the denominator here is cosecant theta minus cot theta. So how can this be converted to cosecant square theta minus cot square theta? Multiply by cosecant theta plus cot theta. Right? This is in the form of a minus b. If you multiply by a plus b, we get a square minus b square. But only the denominator cannot be multiplied by a plus b. We have to multiply both numerator and denominator by a plus b. So what do we do? In the first term, multiply both the numerator and denominator by cosecant theta plus cot theta. So what do we get? This can be taken as cosecant theta plus cot theta divided by the denominator becomes cosecant theta minus, uh, minus cot theta into cosecant theta plus cot theta which is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta minus 1 by sin theta. 1 by sin theta can be simply taken as cosecant theta minus cosecant theta. Now what do we see? The denominator cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Right? So this denominator is ruled out. We don't have anything in the denominator. What is left now? Cosecant theta plus cot theta minus cosecant theta. So these two get cancelled and the final answer is cot theta which is option A in the given case. Right? So simply use some or the other algebraic formula and various trigonometric formula that we know to find out what the required answer is. I don't say that this is the only way to get the answer. You may use different sorts of expansions to find out the required answer there. Right? For example here 1 by cosecant theta, uh, cosecant theta can be taken as 1 by sin theta and cot theta can be taken as cos theta by sin theta. So what do we get? Uh, you know 1 minus cos theta by sin theta in the denominator. That sin theta goes in the numerator again. So this is how we can use various trigonometric and algebraic identities to get the required answer right let me make it clear that some of you may not follow this method you may follow a completely different method but your final answer would remain the same that is cot theta right cot theta is going to be the final answer for example here instead of multiplying both numerator and denominator by cosecant theta plus cot theta we can take this cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta and cot theta is cos theta by sin theta and then try to simplify it using uh, just by expanding it further right final answer is going to be cot theta which is option a however instead of using all these steps and trying with different formulae we can solve such questions in a very simple manner and that is the method of substitution as i mentioned in the introduction part of this session that most of the questions from this topic can be answered simply by using some value in place of the theta right like in this case if you observe the question simply says find the value of this expression right where we have got different trigonometric ratios in terms of theta and we have got four answer options which also have got uh, trigonometric ratios in terms of theta so all we need to do is substitute some value of theta and check which of the answer options satisfies that for example let's try with zero let's say what happens if we try with zero if you take theta equals to zero degrees see the point here is the moment you say theta is zero sine theta would become zero if sine theta is zero one by zero this will be undefined hence there is no point in trying with zero there right try to take the value of theta in such a way that we get some numerical value there right some real numerical value so can we try with 30 yes we have all this we know all the trigonometric ratios for theta equals to 30 so let's substitute theta as 30 what do we get 1 by cosecant 30 minus cot 30 minus 1 by sine 30 right now what is this 1 by cosecant 30 cosecant 30 will be equal to 2 right this is 1 by sine 30 sine 30 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 will give us 2 minus cot 30 what is cot 30 it will be equal to root 3 right cot 30 is root 3 you just need to make sure that remember all these trigonometric ratios for those specific angles right so cot 30 is root 3 minus 1 by sine 30 what is sine 30 it is 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 1 by 2 right 
let's simplify this what do we get now this term here 1 by 2 minus root 3 can be simplified by rationalization right so we get 2 plus root 3 divided by uh, 4 minus 3 1 right 2 plus root 3 by 1 minus 2 right 1 by 1 by 2 becomes 2 so what happens again 2 and minus 2 gets cancelled we are left with root 3 which means by taking theta as 30 degrees the value of this expression is equal to root 3 now let's substitute the same value that is theta equals to 30 degrees in the given answer options and check which options gives us root 3 now if we take theta as 30 what is cot 30 root 3 that's the answer if you substitute 30 here what is cosecant 30 cosecant 30 is equal to 2 hence ruled out how about tan 30 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 but what we have got is root 3 here so this is cancelled and d cannot be the answer so our answer here is option a cot 30 so you can either follow the regular method or this smart way of getting the answer based on what is convenient to you